Hi guys, this is our three by three cardio day workout. Now, you might be thinking typically when you hear cardio or a cardiovascular exercise, you're thinking I need to be running outside. And running outside is a great cardiovascular exercise. However, if you find yourselves stuck at home or in a classroom where you're not able to get outside, but you still want to get your heart rate going, you can do these four exercises with just a little bit of space around you. So we are going to do four separate exercises each for 10 reps. So we're going to start with 10 mountain climbers. Then we're going to do 10 box punches with our right, then 10 box punches with our left, and then 10 step ups, either on a chair or a stool. So we'll get to that when the time comes. So we're gonna start with 10 mountain climbers. Here we go. So we're gonna start in high plank position, making sure that we have a nice straight line between our shoulders and our hands. And we're gonna drive those knees up, alternating left and right, five each for a total of 10. Here we go, ready and go. Good, all right, that's 10 mountain climbers. We're gonna quickly transition to right box punches. So I wanna get in a boxer stance. My left leg in front, my right hand, my right leg behind with my right hand. And I'm gonna punch and rotate, okay? Punch and rotate. There we go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Quickly, we're gonna transition the other way which for me is my off hand, which might feel a little bit awkward, but that's okay. We're gonna give it a shot, knees bent. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Now I'm gonna grab a chair because that's what I have access to. At home, you might have a stool. Just make sure you choose something that is safe for you to be climbing up on top of and that is stable and that you're not gonna fall over. So. This chair is quite high. At home, you might wanna look for something a little bit lower, but here we go. We're gonna do 10 step ups, all right? So you can alternate legs or you can stick with whichever leg feels better for you. Here we go, 10. Good, and up, both legs, and then safely lower yourself down. Good, two, we've got three, four, five. I'm gonna now switch legs. Now I'm going to lead with my left, one, two, three, four, and five. So that's a total of 10. So that was our cardio day workout. Whatever you do, remember with these types of workouts, you want to have a, a little bit of sense of urgency and a good pace with you because that'll get your heart rate going. Great job today, guys. I'll see you next time. Hi, this is our three by three workout, the core challenge. So we are gonna do a plank hold for just 10 seconds, and then we're gonna quickly transition into 10 crunches, followed by 10 sit-ups. Here we go. We're gonna start in a high plank hold for 10 seconds, all right? Here we go, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, quickly transitioning to those crunches. So not a full sit up, we'll get to that. Here we go, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, now we're gonna do the full sit up. So I'm gonna have my hands on the ground at all times so that I do not use my arms to propel myself forward, really focusing on my core, my abdominal muscles. Here we go for 10 sit-ups. All the way up and all the way down. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job. That was our three by three core challenge. I'll see you next time. Hi, 
Okay, this is the three by three reverse lunge with a kick. So we're gonna do a reverse lunge or a drop lunge with our right leg, and then we're gonna transition immediately into a front kick with that same leg. So we're gonna do a reverse lunge on the reverse lunge on the right, transition to a front kick on the right for 10, and then we're gonna to alternate to our left leg. Here we go. I'm gonna do it at a side angle, just so I can kick the wall, and so you guys can see sort of the angle of my body. So here we go, with our reverse lunge, we're gonna drop back, our knee's gonna to almost touch, and then we're gonna kick forward. Good. So it helps to have those hands nice and balanced by our side, because this is very much a strength building and a balance exercise. I believe that was six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, that was my right leg. Now I'm gonna go the other way with my left leg. I'm gonna stand up nice and tall. Here we go. Dropping back, kicking forward. Good, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, most people do have a dominant side, but it's really important that we do type, these types of workouts and exercises with both sides of our body so that we work on that balance and strength and flexibility for our entire body, not just our dominant side. Great job today, guys. That was our reverse lunge with a kick. I'll see you next time.